In this video, we will learn how to add Trello cards in Notion database item automatically. So Trello is an amazing project management software and Notion is also a web-based note-taking application where you can manage your tasks, manage your teams and even create the to-do list. And the idea here is as soon as a new card is created into the Trello, the same card should be automatically added into the Notion as well along with all task details so that I don't need to manually copy the details from here to Notion application, both of these applications should be synced automatically and I am going to do that with the help of an automation. So if you also want to learn this automation, come with me and I'll show you the whole process step by step. So this is my Trello's dashboard and here I want as soon as the cards are created, the same details should be added automatically into the Notion and I am going to do that by building a connection in between these applications with the help of Pabli Connect, which is an amazing integration and automation software via which you can easily connect multiple applications and automate your tasks and you can also reach here by typing pabli.com slash connect I will also attach this link into my description box now if you are a new user of Pabli connect you will have to sign up for free and in the free account you will also get free tasks every month in your account in order to test these kinds of amazing automation now I am already an existing user of Pabli connect so that is why I am clicking on sign in then I have clicked on access now and this is how I have reached to the dashboard of Pabli Connect and after reaching here you will have to click on this blue button on this plus icon create workflow and simply provide a random name to your workflow to your automation okay so I'm providing the name as I'm pasting the name as okay I'll have to first to correct the spelling when card is created in Trello okay it should be like that when card is created in Trello add same details into the notion now click on create and after that you will find two boxes in front of you so these are actually trigger and action so trigger means when this happens action means do this so whenever this happens do this understand with an example also let's say whenever a sale happen in a payment gateway application send an email via gmail application and here according to our use case whenever the card is created in trello application automatically add the same details in notion application okay so this is how you need to always select the applications in which you are building an automation and here i am building an automation in between trello and in between notion so that is why i am going to select these two application here but i am going to select this notion application later okay so coming back here and i want that as soon as a new card is created in trello this automation should trigger basically it should capture pabli connect should capture all the card details into the pabli connect only okay so for that i'll have to build a connection in between trello and pabli connect first for that you'll have to select this add a new connection and for the connection it is asking for the username the api key and the token key well don't worry instructions are already given here okay so simply click on this particular hyperlink and since i am already logged in into my trello account so it has taken me directly on that specific page and here you will find an option of the token okay you can see generate or token okay so you will have to click on that token section and from here exactly you can actually get your token okay so simply click on allow and this is how you can copy the token okay I have copied it already coming back to Pabli connect and let me paste the same coming back here again and this is the personal key again I have copied the same pasted the same and here exactly I am going to provide the username of my Trello alright so I have have provided the username clicking on save and this is how the Trello account will be connected with the Pabli connect all right I'll have to wait for that and here you can see it is connected now whatever the boards are available inside my Trello account have started visible here you can see and let me even show you that this is my Trello account and if I'll click here okay you will be able to see that whatever the boards are available okay so you can see here I have lots of boards okay and all the these boards are visible here into the public connect since we are connected okay and I'm going to select which particular board okay so I have created a board with the name Pabli team so I'm going to select the same so let me search for the Pabli team board all right and here I have selected the same and in this Pabli team board I have created a list basically I have created multiple list that is video creators SEO team okay so I am going to search which particular list basically basically 
all right i guess i have selected some other board okay i'll have to search for that pabli team board okay here is the correct board pabli team and here you can see i have these two list and the same list will be visible here okay so i want that as soon as into this board i am creating any card into this specific list those details should be synced with the notion so that is why i am going to specify here uh, the video creators list okay so simply click on the same even send test request after filling out these two things and here it will start waiting for the response okay so you will have to read the instructions here once you have clicked over the save and send test request button do a test submission or record in that application in order to capture the response here so basically it is asking to do a test submission or record and here the test submission or record means creating of a new card in trello okay so i am going to create a new card in trello right in front of you in the very same lead okay so clicking on this plus icon and here you can notice okay i can actually close this particular window okay and here you can notice it is still waiting for the response okay still waiting for the response okay coming back here and i am going to create a task something like find a list of okay let me correct the spelling popular keywords on google sheets automation okay i am providing this particular name to my card okay currently i have i have just provided the name to my card i have not provided any assignee any description okay so simply click on this add a card button and here you will see the magic that as soon as i have clicked on that add a card detail the same card details will be fetched up by pabli connect and here you can see the response is received okay so in this particular particular response i have a very basic details very few details okay here you can see i have very few details basically i just have that card name okay now here i would like to tell you one thing that is since i have specified here clearly that as soon as a new card is created that detail should be captured here but here as soon as i have clicked on that add a card detail the system has detected that hey the card has been created now you can fetch the details but i am not done yet i have no not provided any details to my card okay any description to my card i have not even uh, added any assignee to it i have not even specified the due date okay so this is something quite incomplete so what i am going to do is in the next step i am going to add one more action step as a delay okay and with the help of that delay function i am going to delay my automation for few minutes okay so that what will happen this automation will be delayed for few minutes and in meanwhile i can complete my task details basically i can provide the description i can provide the dates i can uh, provide the assign okay so how you can delay your automations let me show you you will have to select here that whether you would like to delay it for or whether you would like to delay until and in this particular case i want to delay for few minutes okay and this minute could be anything you can even write 5 minutes okay so i'll go with the five uh, minutes only because five minutes are enough to create a task okay so what will happen this automation will not be executed uh, it will firstly wait for 5 minutes and then only the next step will be executed okay and here you can see it has been delayed for 5 minutes now i am going to complete my all the task details okay so here i am going to provide the description okay all right i have added the incorrect spelling so let me first correct the spelling but i'll have to capture the correct response as well because here you can see it has captured the same incorrect information okay so simply click on this recapture button once again and then i am going to add this card once again okay so simply i am going to delete this particular card okay and clicking on this plus icon and here i am creating this task once again with some other words find a list of popular keywords in google sheets automation topic okay and it should not be in it should be actually on on google sheets automation topic for the video team it should be something like this for the video creators okay so i have provided the full card name 
add clicking on add cart button and now i will receive a better response basically the correct response the correct details okay and uh, now the automation will be delayed for five minutes and let me first complete the task details all right so here i'm going to click on this pencil click on open card and let me provide the description as well okay so i'm providing the description as we need to find out at least 100 popular list of keywords on the topic on the topic google sheets automation okay i am providing this particular uh, name to my this particular description to my card okay we need to find out at least 100 popular list of keywords on the topic google sheets automation i'll click on save and then i'm going to provide the members okay assume that currently i just have a single member only so i'm assigning the same to the same member all right but uh, if you have multiple members added inside your workspace you can add those members as an assignee asking for the date so let me assign a due date okay so i am assigning the due date as the 21st of february all right no uh, no problem okay i have provided the date as well okay let me check whether that date has been applied or not i think that date has not been applied okay firstly i'll have to click on the save okay here you can see the due date has been added just in a case if you want to attach any uh, attachment or if you also want to provide any other details you can do the same okay so my task creation process is done simply click on close coming back to Pabli connect and the automation will be executed after five minutes and now i am going to click on this plus icon and will tell the system that what should be done after those five minutes okay so here i am going to select for the trello once again and i want to fetch all the task details because i want to add the details and from where i'm going to capture those details because in the above response i i simply had the name of the task okay other than that i do not have much details basically i do not have the description the due date and and other details okay so i'm going to fetch this detail okay so simply click on this uh, simply select a uh, get task details okay and here i am going to search for which particular action event all right here you can see get a card okay get a card details by id i am going to select this specific action event simply click on connect and this time you can also go with the existing connections because we have already built the connection with trello okay so you do not need to connect uh, every time basically uh, for new connection you do not need to connect your trello every time you are connecting with okay so basically you do not need to do a new connection every time okay you can also use the existing connection okay and for fetching up the, all the card details it is asking me the card id so i'll have to check whether i have received any card id into this particular response or not okay let me search for the card id all right here i have the model id okay but i am looking for the card id okay and here you can see the card id i have this id and i don't need, even need to copy this detail and manually paste it here i am going to map it and mapping is very simple inside pabli connect simply click on this particular field and this is how you will find the above data here in the drop down simply search for that data and here is my card id simply click on this button and you will see how all the details will be received okay let me show you the details one by one all right so where are the details here you can see that due date okay let me check for other details and here we have the description of our card okay so where is uh, where are other details okay so here we have the name of the person and i think i should also have received the assignee name I'll have to check. No, I have not received that particular detail. Okay, so this is how I have received the basic details of the card. Now here I would like to tell you one more thing. Okay, so you can notice that I have mapped this ID instead of pasting it manually. Why? Because I want that this ID should be changed automatically when this automation will work in real time in next time. Okay, so that is why I have specifically mapped it so that this automation will work in real time. Because so that is why mapping is really important in this automation. Okay, moving further. Now we have all 
the details so we can send these details to notion so simply click on this plus icon and search for that application in which you would like to send these details and in this particular case i want to send these details to notion application so that is why i've selected the same and since i wanted to create a database item into the notion so that is why i have selected that specific action event simply click on connect click on add new connection click on connect with the notion and i am already logged in into my notion application so that is why it is simply asking me for the permission so let me provide the same click on select pages and make sure that the page which you have created should be selected here should be ticked marked here and yes it is ticked mark click on allow access and this is how the authorization will be successful and your notion application will be connected with Babli connect and again since we are connected whatever the databases are available inside my notion application have started visible here and here you can see these databases are visible here okay asking for the task description the due date the assigned to the task name okay so these are basically the same things which i have created into my notion page into my notion database table okay here you can see i have this task name the description the due date and the assigned date and these are the same things which are visible here and i am going to provide the details one by one how and from where i'm going to provide the details well i have just received the response and i am going to map this response okay so task description simply click on this particular field and let me search for the description and here we have the description of the task asking for the due date so again i am going to search for the due date and as i have remembered i have added the date of due it as the 20th of the february okay assigned to well i think i have i remember that i have not received the value something like the assignee but how about we check it once again into my response okay basically into this particular step whether i have received any assignee details Alright, so currently I do not have such details just in case if you want to fetch those details, you can do the same by applying one more action step asking for the task name. So let me search for the task name as well. Okay, I think it should be something like the card name. Okay, and here you can see I have the card name. And lastly, it is asking for the content. Well, why this section is visible here? Well, I'm not going to add this content. So let me leave this particular field ban. Okay basically it was asking for the page content okay and the maximum char character length allowed is 2000 okay i'm going to leave this particular field blank okay and i have successfully mapped all this data and since i have mapped these details these details these details will be replaced automatically when this automation will work in real time and here you can see as soon as i have clicked on that button the details has been added the details have been added automatically into my notion software and this is how every time someone is going to create a card into the trello now onwards and here you can see this trigger will instantly capture the new incoming data and the workflow execution will start in real time so the good thing about this automation is this is this is going to work in real time yes every time someone is going to create a card here the same card details will be automatically and in real time will be added into the notion application you do not have to do anything manually simply create this automation inside Pabli connect just once okay and after that you can simply close Pabli connect because Pabli connect will take care of all the tasks in the back end you can sit back and relax okay just in case if you want to access this automation which I have just created right in front of you I will attach the link of my workflow into my description box from where uh, basically you can simply click on this particular link and sign up into the public connect and the same workflow will be cloned into your public connect account that too for free not just these applications you can integrate multiple applications and automate your business with public connect you can ask your queries at forum.pabli.com my team will surely answer to your questions this is the website of pabli connect and for the latest updates of pabli connect and unique automation ideas you can join our facebook group that is formget.deals if you have found this video helpful in any way share it with your friends and colleagues and also help them to automate their business like share and subscribe thank you for watching this video